So, so the, the distortion, the difference in gravitational pull, as you said, or the distortion, you don't feel it until it becomes very distorted. Oh, there's a big gravitational pull when you get very close to this thing. Uh, and then you start to see that, you, and actually it works. It's not only stretching, it's also a squashing. So the way the tidal gravity works is to mm -hmm. squash in one direction and pull in the other direction. So we are getting... So you feel it. So you start to feel this strange sort of sensation of being stretched and squashed. <laughs> and, and, and as you go closer and closer to the singularity, those effects become much more extreme until they're so extreme that, first of all, you, you cease to <laughs> right, stay, stay together. We're one you, long string of atoms? Yeah, well, what are we? Are, we and then the atoms get, get separated. And then the protons, the quarks inside the protons will get separated. And ultimately, according to Einstein's theory, the tidal forces become infinite. So the in, in, formally infinite. And so everything is gone. Everything's been ripped apart. And that this is what we call the singularity. So, so the whole thing kind of gets very extreme and breaks down ultimately in Einstein's picture.